Welcome back. This is part three of how I built my catamaran. Before we move on, I'd like to share this. I just found some old VHS video footage, which I thought I'd lost. Uh, here are the, uh, the engine mount for, the out, for one of the outboards and the uh, engine room access door where the engine will swing down through. Um, there's no bulkhead between the toilet and shower and outside at the moment, so it's a convenient access into the hull. Now you'll have another one on the other hull, won't you? Similar. Yeah, that's right. So if you come inside, I'll show you around. Right out. Okay. <coughs> There's the engine mount. It's laminated up out of a core of cedar, western red cedar, with fiberglass, uh, with fiberglass and uh, plywood on both sides. And uh, uni glass, top and bottom, laminated onto the hull, which gives you quite a <coughs> solid mounting there. That's your main thrust, then, isn't it? Yeah, it takes all your engine thrust. That'll then be bonded onto the to the bulkhead that'll run through here. And up here will be a queen size double bed <coughs> that um, that goes across to that uh, that post over there at the end of the veranda. That'll be the centre line of the uh, starboard hull. That post over there. Yeah. So I didn't own a video camera back in those days, so this is some rare footage that was taken by visitors. Once the hull was out of the shed, I set up temporary framing for the bridge deck floor. The floor was done in strip cedar, the same layup as the hulls. It was all straight and parallel, so this went pretty quick. The floor was built upside down, glassed on the bottom and then turned over. Once the top surface was glassed, I then started adding all the bulkheads. These were spot glued in place and then filleted with a mixture of epoxy and cabosil to give a high strength fillet. The cedar planks for the foredeck were laminated together, rebated around the edges and fiberglassed. The epoxy filler was trailed on straight after the fiberglass went on. That way you save yourself heaps of time. The cabin top was made on temporary frames to give it its slight curvature and you can see where it's curved at the front along the uh, three front edges there. These are cuts done with a circular saw that go a little over halfway into the wood to allow you to bend the wood more than you normally could. After a lot of thinking, head scratching and walking around with the tape measure, I made the decision to build the boat completely and transport it out to the water in one piece. This would make building the boat a lot simpler, but I needed a bigger shed. So I took some time out working on the boat and built myself a new shed. I designed the shed myself. So I ordered up I-beams and all the gear I need to make a roller gantry so I could lift complete hull sections and move them around. I had grand ideas of making a business building boats. It was a little bit of an overkill and added quite a bit of extra time to the build of the boat, but anyway. After a break of about three months, I could finally get back to building the boat. But it was worth the effort. It was a whole new experience, standing in this big shed with all this room. I lifted the centre section into the middle of the shed and brought the hull in beside it. With the gantry and the slings, now I could have some fun moving things around. I welded up frames to assemble the two parts of the boat, leaving myself enough room to assemble the last hull. All the edges in both the plywood and the cedar were rebated with a plane by the thickness of the fiberglass. I cut my own fiberglass tape from the roll using a dressmaker's cutting wheel. I picked them up in a dressmaker's shop. This is an awesome way to cut fiberglass without causing it to lose its shape. Once the hull and bridge deck were aligned, the gaps between the edges were filled with epoxy, sanded smooth, keyed and glass taped. Once the tape dried, the two sections become one. The strength of the join is the same as or stronger than the rest of the hull, so there's no weak point at the join. And epoxy wood and fiberglass as a system has excellent fatigue strength. Once these two were bonded together, I could start finishing off the cabin top. In the next video, we'll look at joining up the starboard hull and the final assembly of the complete boat. Just click on the link above. 
Thanks for watching.